Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about that how and where to terminate SSL connection if you are running maybe Nginx or Apache in AWS infrastructure. So this is an important question which is usually asked by interviewer just to ensure whether you are familiar with infrastructure or not. So before starting and explaining this video, I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you. Okay, so as an actor, it means as a user, when you hit any URL within your browser, so what happens here is request goes to DNS. DNS means route 53 as the icon shows uh, here so that is route 53 and by default dns ip address is 10.0.0.2 in case if your cidr address is 10.0.0.0 slash 20 if your subnet ip address is maybe uh, let me type in here 172.18.0.0 slash maybe 16 then your ip address will be 172 172.18.0.2 so this is going to be your dns ip address so by default this is dot two starting with your cidr range that could be different as well in some different scenarios but but uh, usually de by default it is given like this so when request resolve from dns so we can point this elastic load balancer as a record within this so by default a records are not given with uh, this uh, application load balancer or maybe elastic load balancer so what we can do here is we can create alias record in place of a it means when we go to dns i have already shown in couple of videos so definitely i will give the link in description box so you can check it out there when request reaches to this place which is your load balancer here we have to configure two different listeners one is for http and second is for https because it could be possible that some of user may not like to hit this domain servergen.com on https so what we are going to do here is we are going to terminate that ssl certificate whether whether that is on http or whether that is on https so we are going to use this elb as ssl terminator then after request will go to these application server these uh, web servers it could be nginx or it could be apache so any of web server you could be running on these servers when request will be forwarded from this elastic load balancer to your internal servers so these servers do not have any public ip associated with these and these are running in private subnet it means this is internal network no one can access these servers on internet same here, like you can have multiple target group associated along with your uh, application load balancer. Moreover, you can have configured your auto scaling group that as and when required new servers can be uh, launched or uh, terminated as and when required. Now, once again, when you have your middle layer, so it could be possible that your internal, your uh, Nginx or Apache servers are sending requests to your application servers on this internal network only so there is no need to have secure connection because all the requests are flowing on http only and these are on internal network it means no one can get to know that where the request is being served so this is how we can secure our connection and finally your application server can get in touch with database so there could be master slave proxy multiple databases can be here but keep this thing in mind while we are talking about this so it means that when this request comes to elastic load balancer so we can term get the terminated here only now there is an additional question why do we need to terminate ssl at this particular point reason being we can place one wild card certificate as you can see here asterisk dot it means that could be www.servergen.com that domain could be app.servergen.com, web.servergen.com, that could be admin.servergen.com, backend.servergen.com or maybe xyz.servergen.com. Domain could be any. So based on that particular rule, we can have multiple target groups. Maybe this is serving to app.servergen.com, this is serving to uh, web.servergen.com and maybe the, any other target group if I create so that could be serving 
मोबाइल डॉट सर्वर ज्ञान डॉट कॉम डोमेन और मे बी डायरेक्टरी डॉट सर्वर ज्ञान डॉट कॉम इमेज डॉट सर्वर ज्ञान डॉट कॉम सो मल्टीपल टारगेट ग्रुप्स आई कैन एसोसिएट हियर विद सिंगल सर्टिफिकेट दिस सर्टिफिकेट इज नॉन एज वाइल्ड कार्ड सर्टिफिकेट सो वॉट एवर कम्स बिफोर सर्वर ज्ञान डॉट कॉम दैट विल बी रिजॉल्व एंड दैट विल बी हैंडल्ड बाय दिस इलास्टिक लोड बैलेंसर नाउ If we have multiple domain running, so obviously we will have to place and we will have to configure SSL certificate on these servers in such a manner that whenever new domain is created, so that should have HTTPS enabled with that. So this is an additional advantage. Like we need not to configure every virtual host which is running on these web servers with HTTPS because every connection can get terminated at at this particular point. so this is how we can manage and we can handle our ssl termination on load balancer so this is an additional feature of load balancer which we can use now we need to create rules on both the listeners regarding our uh, website name maybe app.servergan.com so if that comes so request will be forwarded here maybe on nginx or maybe on apache so based on your target group you can configure rules here at this particular point so the main point of creating this video was that i wanted to explain that how we can and where we should terminate ssl certificate because this is a question which i have recently faced within four to five interview question interviews and most of the time people are asking that i have running a domain so where do i need to terminate my ssl connection so the main point is this application load balancer or maybe classic load balancer or maybe network load balancer so wherever you want you can place a single certificate and you can utilize that single certificate with multiple load balancers and for uh, multiple internal servers maybe 100 or thousands of servers can be running behind this load balancer but only single certificate will be good enough for it now how how will this connection be secured so you can create two type of load balancer either it could be internet facing or either it could be internal load balancer so if you need to place this uh, this uh, this uh, load balancer this uh, load balancer dns within route 53 so you can create create it uh, as an internal load balancer it means all the ip addresses which will be assigned to this so these ip addresses are going to be private only as dns itself has one private ip address so obviously all the request which will come on this dns so these request will be forwarded to elb and elb will further forward these request to respective target groups so it means our entire connection is completely secure there is no uh, there is no uh, problem with this particular utilization with this uh, load balancer if we are going to terminate ssl here so our entire infrastructure will be safe if we do not use our ssl certificate or we do not run nginx or apache on ssl it means port 443 if it is not enabled on these target group so even our infra is secure so that is it for this video guys thank you so very much for watching have a good time happy learning from server gyan once again i would love to request you to please do like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon as you will be notified for my upcoming videos thank you have a good time Happy learning